Hey guys, how are you? Grant Ray here. I am here today for a extra special reaction video. Um, this video was requested by MW on YouTube who requested that I react to another performance of The Incomparable Miss Whitney Houston. And I am super, super duper excited to get into this because I've been meaning to shoot this video for a while. I've been super, super busy, but tonight we are sitting down and doing this reaction. And I can't wait, baby. <laughs> Today's reaction request once again comes from MW on YouTube, who requested that I react to Whitney Houston's performance of Saving All My Love For You in 1991 in Japan. So I know this is going to be absolutely mind-blowing as all of her performances are. She is the greatest, the GOAT, as they say. Never will be another, the greatest singer of all time, hands down. So we're going to be reacting to another one of her legendary performances. And without further ado, let's get into it. Before we begin today's video, as always, if you're new here, welcome to this community. I am glad to have you here. If you would please be so kind, hit the subscribe button. Don't cost you anything. I have a ton of new content coming you don't want to miss. Give this video a thumbs up at the end and be sure to check my social handles in the drop down box below. Let's get into the video. Thank you. It's not very 
baby. Whoa, 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 wow. Oh my God, wow. <laughs> I mean, there's like no word on earth to describe that right there. Um, you guys have heard me say it a million times. <sighs> wow. It's just those woo. Uh, Whitney Houston, like I said, um, there's no other like her. There never was, there never will be. She is just so special in just so many different ways. Um, I am so happy that I was requested to react to this performance because this is definitely one of my favorite songs of her because of how relatable um, it is to so many different situations on so many different levels. Um, so many people can relate to this song because it's just one of those songs that sort of brings you back to, I think, especially like your teenage years, um, when there's always that someone, uh, you're sort of dating, you're having fun, you're experiencing, you know, things are new, but deep inside you have feelings for that one special person and no matter how many people you see, no matter how much fun you have, it's sort of like you restrain yourself from these other people because you're saving all of it, all of that good stuff uh, for that one person. And that's why I absolutely lo have loved this song since I was a kid. Now, if any performance displays dynamic control, it is definitely this one. As I've said before, what made Whitney so many steps above the rest, even the best of the best, could not touch Whitney, was her dynamic control. Uh, and when I say dynamic control, one of the main components of that is Whitney's ability um, to really, really descend off into the rafters as far as her belting is concerned. And not even two seconds later, she would drop right back down into her lower register, into her head voice, into her lower register, then when you least expect it, she'd shoot right back up into her upper register seamlessly. You never knew what was coming, and that's what was so exciting. With a lot of singers, you know exactly the format that's going to be displayed. You know it's going to start off a certain way. You know they're going to end up, you know, belting the entire end of the song. Um, and it sort of gets boring that way because you, ex you know exactly what to expect. With Whitney, you never knew that because she was always surprising you live. That's one thing about Whitney Houston. Um, her record label, um, from what I understand, from what I've understood my whole life, wanted her to sound very um, mainstream on her albums because at that time, sounding um, excessively soulful was thought to have um, sort of scared away uh, mainstream white audiences um, and Whitney label wanted her to be um, sort of a uh, artist that would appeal to the masses, uh, you know, white and black. Um, so Whitney sang very clean on her uh, records, which was absolutely magnificent, but she took a completely different route live often. She would often break down the songs and do them the way you knew she wanted to originally do them in a much more soulful, a much more interesting um, way. Uh, she took so much inspiration from people like Aretha and a lot of the um, older um, soul uh, singers in her delivery live, and that's what made it so special because you were constantly on your feet. You didn't know. You were shocked at what you were hearing. Um, and this performance really, really um, showcased that. Um, on a previous video of uh, reaction to Whitney, I stated the same thing. Whitney did something that Aretha was known to do. She often, in the beginning of her song, she sang right behind the beat, and midway into the song, she would catch up for effect. It really, really created, like I said, a sense of excitement because you thought you'd be able to sing along. Excuse me, but uh, Whitney, she made it so that you, like I said, you didn't know exactly what was to come next. And then right when you're in the, this midst of mystery, bam, she hits you right on the beat as you expected in the beginning. And 
She did it all throughout the song. She would get on the beat, go behind it, get on it, go behind it. Similar with the dynamic control. Um, and like I said, that just really, really set her apart from the rest, especially with the live performances. A lot of great singers, absolutely amazing on the record. Uh, we all know who is who. Great records. Um, but they did not deliver live as well as they did on the record. And Whitney Houston killed the competition live. She was the absolute best live. No competition, absolutely none. She killed it live. She always, always brought it in a different way. And she was so creative live. That's one thing that I really always respected about her was the creativity that she brought to her live performances. Um, and it was always, like I said, so artistically done, so classy, elegant, uh, just her poise. Uh, everything about her delivery was class act to the 10th power. I also want to touch on that saxophonist in the beginning. That gave me chills as well. That's something you don't hear these days too much anymore um, as well. And it's such a shame because, like I said, in that era, it was all about the music and not even just the singing. It was about the band. It was about the each individual instrument. It was such a big part of the entire performance. These days, like I said, it's all about gimmicks. It's all about costumes and there's nothing wrong with that there's a lot of great artists out there that made a career off of that but that's not what music is about music is about music music is about instruments singing emotion and this performance really like i said it just brought me back to that time uh that i miss so much and i am glad there are a couple of artists that are trying to keep the legacy of these type of performances alive but uh it's great stuff absolutely great stuff the way Whitney Houston played with her head voice, uh, you guys have heard me say it over and over again, it's just heavenly, absolutely heavenly. Nothing like it, absolutely nothing like it. The head voice on that woman was just, it was unmatched, simply unmatched. Um, just like an angel, like, a, like an angel shining down. And another thing that really separated Whitney, as I stated before, was the fact that when the high notes ended, she was still impressive. A lot of singers are known for their upper register. It's great. You guys know I love high notes. Any singer out there loves high notes. It's exciting, but a lot of singers have great sound in their upper register. You take that away, the sound is very bland. They don't have an actual great voice. It's just they have a great ability with their the upper part of their voice. When the high notes were over, you were still amazed by the sound of just Whitney Houston's actual voice, just her actual tone. Um, and like I said, it's something that really uh, was unheard in, in my opinion. Uh, and her tone alone, like I said before, was just majestic, absolutely majestic. It was just royalty. That is the only word that I feel really, really um, describes in its full grandeur her instrument just absolute royalty royalty at its finest and i'm just so blessed to be able to revisit uh this performance from her again and you guys know there is going to be more reactions from me on the incomparable whitney houston she is just like i said she is a national treasure and we really really need to uh keep her legacy alive because a lot of New musicians really, really, really need to do their homework and study great singers and great performers like this because at the end of the day, like I said, this is what it's all about. And once again, thank you so much, MW, for requesting that I react to this today. Thank you so much for joining me today for this reaction video. Please give this video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. I have tons of new content coming I don't want you to miss. If you're new here and you wish to support this channel, you can do so. You can find me here on Patreon, subscribe for a low monthly premium, and you have inclusive access to exclusive content from me you won't find anywhere else. And by doing so, you will be helping to keep the content moving forward. And if you want me to react to something, leave your requests in the comments down below, and I will add them to the lineup. Love you all, stay blessed, stay safe, and keep the positivity going. We need all we can get in this world. See you guys in the next video. Peace.